Hey, what's up? This is Ross again, and um, today I'm going to re review the um, what I think is just about the best adventure series of all time. Yep, the Indiana Jones series. Okay, well, to me, in general, to me, this is, I think, Steven Spielberg's, like, this is his best work, period. I think that, in general, I mean, all together, and in all together, the form of the whole entire series, even including the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which was completely panned, you know, and people didn't like the ending, I still think that this is Steven Spielberg's best work. And I'll give you two reasons why. One is that he decided to work with his friend George Lucas on this series. And both of them, putting their minds together, they came up with the first entry in this Masterpiece Collection, yes, including Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Raiders of the Lost Ark, which was, which is by my, my terms, the greatest adventure movie of all time. I never get tired of watching Raiders of the Lost Ark. I could watch it over and over and over again and still have the same experience as seeing it the first day I saw it. It is an amazing movie and it gives you every single thing a, ho a big budget Hollywood movie should be. In fact, it gives you something that some of these Hollywood movies today should make an example of. It gives you adventure, it gives you action, it gives you it gives you great stunts, it gives you incredible thrills, it gives you extremely incredible makeup effects that haven't been seen since the Hammer fil films of old. I'm telling you, this movie is the pinnacle of adventure movies. Nothing can beat Greater The Lost Ark as far as I'm concerned. It is the best action movie and adventure action adventure movie I have ever seen in my life. And I think that that was the reason why is that George Lucas and Steven Spielberg took this project seriously and they came up together and put their collective minds together and they came up with an adventure that was just spot on. I mean, it was a five-star movie. It was just exactly what the start of this series needed to become successful and to become a great film that is now has one of the top AFI spots in action-adventure films. And it really is a sight to behold. I mean, the end scene where they open the arc is just absolutely phenomenal, even to today's standards, that all of that was done by just regular special effects, you know, just regular traditional special effects. And it shows you that computer animation has a long ways to go still before it can even get up to to traditional effects today. And that proves it. Raiders of the Lost Ark proves that fact to me. And the fact that Harrison Ford was an overnight star in the in in Star Wars and people were asking when it first came out could he actually uh, you know be a leading man for a an adventure series well soon as, as soon as you see Raiders of the Lost Ark all of that goes away Harrison Ford is the best leading man for the for this for this series period it just is now they had Tom Selleck in mind for original for the for Raiders of the Lost Ark for because he came in and he he tested at tested out and stuff like I said no uh uh Harrison Ford was the man to lead Raiders of the Lost Ark. It, he was the guy. Now, this made him from Star Wars to being an overnight star to being a massive superstar now. So now, the question was, how are they going to follow this up? How are they going to follow up Raiders of the Lost Ark that was like a five-star movie? It was, 
it was a a classic even when it came out. I mean, it was people were probably saying, "God, this movie's going to be a classic." And it was. It was an absolute classic. And how are they going to follow this up? Okay, well, they then George Lucas and Steven Spielberg came together. Okay, let, let's let's do Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Let's make Indiana Indiana Jones, Harrison Ford go up against an occult type of type of um of an occult the occult you know or what an Indian occult all right so yes Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is a lot darker and a lot bigger than Raiders of the Lost Ark they made amusement park out of the damn movie it was even more po it was even more successful than Raiders of the Lost Ark but Reviewers were a little bit more iffy about the fact that, you know, that um, that that this movie really belonged in the series and stuff because it was so dark and so gothic. You know, this really what is kind of like the most gothic entry out of the whole entire series. It is really dark and very, you know, there are some very kind of macabre scenes in there that I wouldn't really you know, advise uh, children under seven to see or anything like that. I mean, they got some uh, guy having his heart pulled out. And then, but the thing that makes up for the movie itself, for those scenes itself, is the end chase scene that they put together that's basically makes up for the whole entire movie. I mean, that is just absolutely the best chase scene I've seen in any movie uh, you know, in any, you know, Spielberg movie or anything, even Minority Report or any of his other action-based movies that I have seen, you know, even Transformers or anything like that that he's been a part of, that is the best chase scene I've ever seen. The, the, um, the cave chase scene where they're going through the caves and the mines and stuff. And, um, I think the reason why is they wanted to make it, I'm thinking they wanted to make it a little bit different than Raiders of the Lost Ark. They didn't want to make it all the same because sometimes you get a trilogy and it's all the same, you know, like The Mummy, which is which was a almost a carbon copy of of the Indiana Jones movies, which I think are sometimes get repetitive at times, you know, because they're all the same and stuff like that. It's just they bring out more stuff, you know. So I think that the fact that they did make it different was that's that's the cool thing about this series even with with the kingdom of the crystal skull is that each film is different each film has its own different feel to it and the fact that i think that um that that it's 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 a bit kind of like um like they didn't want to make it make it the same over and over again. It's kind of like the Alien series. Each film has its different its different take on on what what Indiana Jones has to go through, you know. So this film, those two films are kind of like they're like so different from each other, yet they're so good that you know, I'll talk about the third and the fourth one in the next video, but it was going to be really, really difficult for them to follow up with any more Indiana Jones films because they started this with these two films that were pretty much, in my eyes, they were good. They were damn good. They were damn near perfect for, for, for me. And, you know, we'll talk about the, about the next two films in the next video. But I'm going to tell you one thing right now. It's they're just good films. Just enjoy them. Just enjoy them for what they are, because they're not really meant to be taken seriously. But the directors did, and that's the good reward that we get from this series is that the directors took it seriously. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm at. That's what I'm talking about. And in the next video, we'll talk about Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which I said like, everybody panned. So uh, thank you for watching, and, um, and I'll see you in my next video.